statins are considered the gold standard when it comes to treating high cholesterol levels that can't be controlled by diet or exercise. And while statins may work for many, not everyone can tolerate the side effects. So in this video, we'll explore Inclisiran, marketed as Lecvio, a promising new treatment that claims to slash cholesterol levels by 50%. We will also uncover the potential side effects and address the concerns about its long-term safety. So let's dive straight in and start with what is Inclisiran? Inclisiran belongs to the drug class called small interfering RNA. It's a new treatment specifically for people whose high cholesterol and high triglycerides are not adequately controlled with first-line medications such as statins, azetamibe, or azetamibe with bempedoic acid, or in those who cannot tolerate a statin due to its side effects. I will leave links down below if you'd like to learn more about these other medicines. So how does Inclisiran work? Inclisiran works in a similar way to another cholesterol-lowering treatment called PCSK9 inhibitors, such as Repatha and Praluant. These types of medication are known as monoclonal antibodies and they work by binding tightly to the PCSK9 protein. Inclisiran works by getting absorbed into your liver and breaks down the gene that makes the PCSK9 protein. By stopping your liver from making this protein, Inclisiran helps your liver remove LDL cholesterol sometimes known as bad cholesterol, from your body. So is Inclisiran a statin? No, Inclisiran isn't a statin. Both Inclisiran and statins work to lower LDL cholesterol, but they do so in different ways. Inclisiran helps your liver remove cholesterol from your body. Statins work by stopping your liver from making cholesterol. So who can have Inclisiran? Inclisiran is only available for those who already have known heart disease as a treatment to prevent further problems such as heart attacks or strokes. This includes those who have or have had a heart attack, unstable angina needing hospitalization, an angioplasty or coronary artery bypass, a stroke, peripheral vascular disease, plus those who have an LDL cholesterol level above a certain level, despite the maximum dose of other treatments to lower their blood fats, such as statins with or without other medicines such as azetamibe or bempedoic acid, or other treatments when statins cannot be taken. So how do you take Inclisiran? Inclisiran is given by injection under the skin, usually in the abdomen, upper arm or thigh, it will be given by a healthcare professional. So how often do you need injections? Inclisiran is a long-term treatment. After the first dose, the next dose will be given after three months, then you will only need it every six months. What dose will you need? The recommended dose of Inclisiran is 284 milligrams for each injection there aren't any dose adjustments that are needed. How much does it lower cholesterol? Well, clinical trial evidence shows that Inclisiran can lower LDL cholesterol levels by at least 50%. So how quickly does it work? Reductions in LDL cholesterol levels are seen from 90 days of treatment. Does Inclisiran interact with any other medications? It's not known if Inclisiran interacts with any other medications. So what are the side effects? These have been reported to include inflammation of the nasal passages and throat, pain and redness or rash at the injection site, raised glucose level, muscle and joint pain, hair loss, urination and bladder problems, dizziness and headaches, chest tightness, cough producing mucus or trouble breathing, 
tiredness and fatigue, stomach issues including diarrhea, weight gain or weight loss. Now these are not all the side effects reported. The research is still ongoing. Now will you need any monitoring? Your doctor or other healthcare professional will let you know if you need any further blood tests. Your cholesterol can be checked three months after the first injection and before the second dose. So what's the controversy surrounding Inclisiran? There is currently no long-term evidence to show whether Inclisiran can help prevent events such as heart attacks and strokes. There is currently research with an ongoing randomized controlled trial, which is a high quality type of study, currently called Orion 4, which is using Inclisiran versus a placebo, which is sometimes known as a dummy drug, in people with a history of heart disease. Now, this is due to finish in 2026. There are also strong claims about the effectiveness of this drug and a lack of long-term safety data as research is still ongoing. There has also been observations as to the degree of political pressure to approve Inclisiran quickly here in the UK, which was quoted by an insider as being extremely unusual. I will leave a link to these articles below. Now, as we've explored, Inclisiran offers a promising new approach to managing high cholesterol for those who can't tolerate statins or haven't found success with other treatments. With its unique mechanism and convenient dosing schedule, it certainly has the potential to be a game changer. However, as with any new medication, it's important to weigh the benefits against the potential side effects and the unknown surrounding long-term safety. As more research unfolds, especially from ongoing trials, we'll gain a clearer picture of where Inclisiran fits in the landscape of cardiovascular care. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out the links below for more detailed information and related videos. Do stay informed and take care of your heart health.